Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure an NFS shared folder at the server side and how to access the shared folder via NFS and AutoFS. Here we, here we are in, at the server side. First step is to install NFS UTUS package. Already installed, cool. Let's create a shared folder. P, that's called mic share. Search mod to seven seven seven. Make it easier to test. Mic share. S L D. Mic share. Now we are going to edit the etc exports. So it's the syntax is very simple. It's the folder to be shared, shared to which IP block? 192.168.0.0 slash 24 RW, read and write, no root squash. No root squash means root user can always access the shared folder at the client side. It's just easier for testing. Apply the changes we made in the etc exports file. The command is export fs rav. You can double check the mapping v. The map to map uh, shared to this IP block. Sync, no tree, do no root squash, blah, blah, blah. Then we need to enable and start the MS NFS server. System CTL, enable now. Now means also we want to start. We can also do system CTL, enable NF server, then system CTL, start NF server. Status NFS server. It's active and enabled. We also want to add the service in firewall. Firewall CMD. Make the root permanent. Add service NFS. Okay, it's already added. Uh, let's clear it. Then reload firewall. Reload. Success. Okay. That's done on the server side. Oh, actually, let's make a few directories inside of the share folder. Mark share. Make the uh, p mark share. Let's call it Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Okay. My share. Okay. Tom and Jerry. Then. Now let's go to the client side. First, I will show you how to access the share folder via NFS. Again, we need to install our already super user. DNF install NFS YouTube's already installed. Cool. Let's create a directory for the mount point. P M N T we call it NFS NFS mic share. Then we want to mount it sudo mount T type NFS the IP of the server. So 192.168.0.160 for the name mark share mount to nfs mark share has been modified blah blah, blah. okay uh check the mount point dfh 
that's L L M N T N F S share folder. Okay, we can see Tom and Jerry. I also want to show you how to make this mount permanently using um, the FS tab. We need to via FS tab. Shift G, add a new entry. The IP one sixty eight zero. Mark share. Mount point NFS. Mic share. Type is NFS. Always defaults zero. Always zero. Save it. Check the syntax is correct. Okay, it's good. Now let me show you how to access it via AutoFS. What's AutoFS? AutoFS automatically mounts the file system on demand. DNF, we need to install AutoFS. System CTL, enable and start AutoFS. Make sure it's started. Okay, good. We want to create a new mount point. MNT, let's this time just call it my share. Next step is very important. We need to edit the etc slash auto master config file. etc auto master. We want to add the root directory of the mount points here. My share. We ask the auto fs once seeing this folder. Then it needs to look at this configuration file. This is arbitrary name. It can be anything. Let's just call it mic share dot auto. We are going to add contents into this config file shortly. Let's copy it. Vi. In this new file, we are going to add as the risk. So where auto fs sees anything that starts with nnt slash mark share slash folder rw read and write the ip of the server again 192.168.0.160 mark share the folder name so when it sees mnt slash mark share slash tom it will look for the mark share slash tom folder on the server. If this is mnt mark share slash jerry, it will look for the slash mark share slash jerry folder on the server. Save the file, check the mount point. Out. So this is still the old mount point. Let me unmount it to avoid confusion. NFS my share DNF. Uh, let's restart auto FS this term CTL restart auto FS. <clears throat> Check the mount point. The mount slash mark share folder is not mounted. That's because we haven't tried to access it. That's why the auto FS is called mounting the system on demand. When it's on demand, mic share tom. Let's see it again. See? MNT mic share tom is now mounted. But Jerry is not there. When it's demanded, Jerry, DFH, Jerry is mounted. If you don't use this mount point for a while, by default, maybe it's 60 seconds, then these two mount points will be unmounted.
Okay, that's it.